Hey Seekers, I hope you're doing really well. Here we are in the first week of February, it's going fast already. Just to let you know, I have almost finished the February monthly readings. I'll put the playlist up here if you want to jump in and have a look at yours. Um, just before we go to your reading, I just want to let you know you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and even on TikTok and I have been posting other little readings on there to you know help you throughout the week as well. Uh, all the links are down below and also the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading. I am available for those and love connecting um, with you in that way as well. Please do if you could like and comment on my videos guys it really helps them travel so much further in an algorithm that's not really um, supportive of small content creators like myself. Also um, hit the subscribe button before you head off that would be awesome as we say here in Australia. Guys, Guys, let's go to your reading. Have a beautiful week. See you soon. Hi there Scorpio, this is your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what's on the cards for you. Getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. And then I'll be going to the Moon Child Tarot for an overarching tarot energy before going to the Rider Waite for the tarot positions. And I'm using the Star Child Tarot as my clarifying deck today. So let's get the cards out. All right, two oracle cards. We have got, oh, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So what is it that you may need to speak up about? Maybe there's something that's been on your heart. Maybe you need to share your feelings for someone, express them. Maybe you need to speak up in the workplace, that idea that you've had that just could be the one the team is looking for. Maybe it is, you know, speaking up about something you've experienced in the past that other people need to know about. There's a sense that you've been holding something in and maybe that has been limiting you in some way. Scorpio, I have birthing a new age, birthing new creations and dreaming a new world into being. So there might be something that you're trying to create, get off the ground. And it's saying here that that is coming into being. What has been in your heart's desires is starting to materialize. It's kind of like the Empress energy. She is the one that helps you make tangible and solid what you have been hoping for. So let's see how that all shakes out in the tarot. Going to go to the Moon Child Tarot now for the overarching energy. Well, let's start that again. I wasn't ready. One card, please, for the Scorpio Collective. There we go. Page of Swords. Yeah, I mean, this is about the winds of change, things beginning to shift. Maybe you've kind of been a little bit out to sea for a while with not a lot of movement. And I always say that it's like, you know, you're out to sea, you're bobbing away in your, your little boat, or maybe you've got a luxury yacht, however you want to imagine it. And all of a sudden those winds start picking up little by little, they start to, to gather in the sails. And then there's a tipping point, right? Where it actually changes your course. So some of you might be having an idea, a breakthrough, an inspiration that's going to change your course by helping you birth a new age. Could be a download that's kind of coming through, feels like it's come from another place or somewhere deep within you, your intuition. Well, let's see what the rest of the story is. Getting the first card out here, Scorpio, energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing or transitioning. If this is your reading, it's that one. The Lovers is coming out so much at the moment. Is the card of Gemini, number six in the Major Arcana. Current focus energy, the Emperor, number four, Aries in the Major Arcana. Get the outcome, outcome, ooh, three of swords, okay. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? The Sun, Leo in the Major Arcana. Well, the future is bright ahead, guys. Let's see what the clarifiers are. Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Can we clarify, please, that Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords again? 
two of pentacles and the tower yeah okay guys i do feel that uh we've got a tower that needs to come down here i've got the lovers which is a big card of choice uh let's just get one more for the middle stream here justice well that makes sense doesn't it and the hanged man called perspective yeah, I think that you guys are going to be the one to speak up and have some kind of conversation. The Page of Swords can be an energy of communication as well that is going to bring justice to a situation by bringing a tower down. I'm going to have to say it, guys. So, And I kind of feel that it's because you might want to go into a, into a different direction. This will be in love for, for a lot of you with the cards that are coming through here with the Knight of Cups, Perspective Hanged Man, the Lovers. There has been quite a few of these readings coming through at the moment. We now have Leo at both bottom of the decks. So you could be dealing with a Leo person. That's the strength card showing itself. So the hanged man. There's this feeling of being in limbo for a while. Your hands have been tied and you've been unable to move forward. Now for some of you, you've wanted to accept some kind of offer from this Knight of Cups. It could be a it could be a romantic offer, guys. It could be an offer, proposal, or invitation. We do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reading as well, so I'm not going to limit this to love. And I feel like you've wanted to reciprocate. You've wanted to say yes. You've wanted to say, I feel that way too, or I want to go for that opportunity too. Yes. But you've been un bit unable to because of a, a prior commitment is what I'm feeling here. The lovers, you know, it is a card of soulmates for some of you. It could be that you want to move towards a soulmate, but you need to move away from somebody else in order to make that happen. For others of you, you could want to move towards a new emotional um, offer in work that's going to really fulfill you as well but you need to make a big choice in order to make that happen the lovers is also a card of big choices around matters of the heart because um well you need to decide really carefully because generally somebody gets hurt three of swords and that could be you know letting down um colleagues in a in a, in a team and a manager or letting living down um a current partner that you might be with so perspective, the hanged man says it is time for you to accept how the situation is and make a decision to move forward. Generally, there's some kind of insight, some kind of aha moment that lands for the, the hanged man that enables them to, to move forward, to liberate themselves and to free themselves. And I feel that, you know, we've got the Ace of Swords here, which is about download and insight. So I really feel that you're going to get whatever the green light is for you that you need to move forward. The sun talks about that. It's coming in and you're going to be taking action this week. And what action? Well, we've got justice here. Justice says that there is a, a change and modification that needs to happen to bring the karmic scales back into balance. The Six of Pentacles also talks about tables turning. So you might have been in a situation where it has been really unevenly weighted, but you've still been really committed to it, but you're desiring something different. You're desiring balance and harmony. The Lovers is a card of harmony in your new ventures, in your new relationships, in your new work. And that is why you're making this decision to transition. So justice here is the card of Libra and it says something's got to give and it's going to be you initiating it. You are the one that needs to share your voice to birth your new age. It's not just going to happen for you. The emperor here, um, a couple of different things. This could mean that you are dealing with or the person you need to communicate with is mentor, boss kind of energy it could be father and father-in-law or it could be husband partner maybe even someone who's a little bit older than you the emperor can also be the fact that by sharing your voice and, and really speaking these words and, and making this transition happen so you can move forward uh, you are actually getting into the driver's seat of your life you are taking control and you are boldly moving forward there's a sense of needing to protect yourself emotionally and not actually operate from your emotions but we're doing it from fact logic and intuition and it's really time for you to receive what you desire and I think what you're desiring is a greater emotional fulfillment so I feel like you're coming out of a situation that you've been very very committed to you're a little bit afraid of moving on from but it's not fulfilling you emotionally and that's why that knight of cups whatever that is whatever that offer is is really tantalizing to you 
So yeah, the decision two of pentacles is upon you. You know what that decision is to bring down the tower or not. It's somebody else's tower. I mean, it's your tower as well, but I feel like it's going to be their tower moment. So the two of pentacles says it's time to make the decision because otherwise you're the one that, that is going to feel unsteady or ungrounded. Um, so we really need to, to decide. I really feel that it's already decided and you're really just kind of, you know, making it happen this week. There's a tower to fall and it is going to be hurt there, probably on both sides, but I feel like it's more for the other party. So the Three of Swords can be, you know, the hurt, the pain, the heartbreak of this tower falling. But the thing about the tower is that it's a hidden blessing because it's in the way of, of getting to the good stuff. So it needs to come down. But it was built on a, on a shaky foundation. It was never never had the stability to go the distance, right? So it always felt a little bit off. And that's why we need to, to bring it down. It's not aligned for you anymore. There's a sense of having outgrown it or it's not fulfilling you. You need to move on to the new. Eight of Pentacles um, can mean, yes, it can be in the workplace as well, the situation, but it's also about you having to do the work. You are initiating this uh, and you are the one that's actually carving out a strong new path for yourself by this transition. So there could be a bit of a, a pathway ahead. You know there's going to be hard work ahead of you maybe after the tower falls. Some of you are going to need to, you know, go out and, and look for a new job or take up this offer and, and maybe do some study and learning to move towards it. Others of you might be dissolving a very stable relationship with the emperor. Somebody who had your back provided for you, you know, you had a really, let's say, a strong foundation, but it wasn't the right foundation and you're going to need to go out on your own, maybe find a home or and financially come to the party with, with more money to be able to, to move forward. So the tower moment's going to affect both of you, but I feel like emotionally, you know, you're in a good place for this because you're the one that's initiating it. And then look at this, we have the beautiful sun energy to finish the reading and the sun says the future is bright ahead. You've overcome the biggest obstacle. I think the biggest obstacle is the decision. Of course, the delivery as well. But after that, it's all just going to fall in place like a series of dominoes I'm seeing here. And this is about rebirth. So you are really moving into a bright new time. Yeah, there's going to be healing that needs to happen. But what you are really doing here, Scorpio, is manifesting that new future that you've been trying to, to manifest. There is, you know, vulnerability here. We can see that. With the Queen of Pentacles here, it's like, you know, you are, this is Capricorn in the Minor Arcana, there's a sense that you've, you've danced with the devil and then you're refocusing on where you want to go. So I feel like the situation that you're moving on from has kind of, suffocated you in some way has held you stuck and bound and hasn't been able you haven't been able to to move ahead to where you want to go and I'm just noticing judgment here you can see how these people are moving out of these small black boxes and I always say it's the devil energy that I've just been talking about that's in these boxes so I feel like you've been held confined like in the cave we, we heard that in the oracle card you've had the wake up call and now you just know you need to take action because you're being guided forward you know you've been karmically guided forward and we can see the page of wands here that says it's all good news past this point you're going to be able to accept offers of passion and manifest what you truly desire you're going to get a lot of growth out of this and there's a sense of um, moving into a time of self-discovery where everything's exciting again after things being heavy and maybe controlling I'm hearing as well Scorpio I'm going to leave it there and I do wish you all the best with the situation keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective may or may not be your reading this time around feel free to uh, drop me a comment guys I do I do read them all and I love interacting with you over there. It helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what's happening out there in the collective. Scorpio, it's been a pleasure. See you back here for another reading really soon. Bye for now.